guys, it's Soldier Girl. This is a prep video, and I'm doing things a little bit different this time because I know in the past, you guys, I usually get questions as far as how I cook certain things, and so I thought I would do things differently this time. I've been prepping for the last three and a half hours, and I'm like tired, you know, and that's, and it took me longer because I'm trying to prep for at least two weeks, two and a half weeks, and so um, it took me longer, but I'm happy about it. So for my chicken, I basically seasoned my grilled chicken uh, really well. Um, I cooked it on the foreman grill, seasoned it all with um, with a little bit of salt, with pepper, um, garlic powder, and then half of it I did with the Mrs. Dash um, for chicken, and then the other half was the lemon pepper. All right, um, and so yeah, I basically use my little foreman grill. Um, I've had this foreman grill forever. It's a little small one. It's like the size of my hand, literally. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to getting a much bigger one um, because literally it took me forever to, to just to do the chicken. It took me forever. But it wasn't too bad because um, I was multitasking doing other things while in the beef, between. The beef is just, like I said, it's 70% lean. Um, I let it brown when it was almost done. Pretty much I tossed in a whole, um, I chopped bell pepper, an orange one as well as a green one, um, a tomato, and a whole onion. All right, so that's going to be my protein. Um, and then fish. The fish is just tilapia. It's uh, uh, Cajun. Um, style, um, it was already seasoned. I just I got it from Proof for Less, already in a little you know sealed packs, and I just put it and I baked it. Now, I didn't add anything to it. I didn't wrap it in foil. I just put it straight into the oven like that. And then for my carb, I have brown rice. Simple. Boil your water. Toss your rice in. You know what I'm saying. And keep it moving. That's done. And then for my veggies, I have um, sliced zucchini. This is just basically cut up zucchini. I um, tossed this in when I did the fish. I seasoned it with pepper, um, garlic powder, and um, a little bit of Cajun, um, um, Cajun um, pepper um, as well to spice it up a little bit. All right. I also used um, extra virgin olive oil for this as well. I also used it with the um, chicken as well. Um, I also did spinach. Of spinach and it just condenses down to almost nothing. So this is basically all I have left for spinach. Um, and then my broccoli. This is all broccoli there, and um, I have cut up um, my red and my um, yellow bell peppers. I sliced up some cucumber. This is going to be my snack right here, um, one of my snacks per day with a little bit of hummus. And I'm trying the um, spicy three pepper, which is actually pretty good. It's not as good as the um, the jalapeno and cilantro one. Uh, there was another one. That I got from the farmers market weeks ago, and those are my two favorite ones. Um, and so I'm hoping to help. I'm hoping to find those. I've been checking out health food stores, but I haven't found them yet. Um, I also have a, a few yams over here that I just baked. Wrap them in foil. Um, bake them for about an hour, hour and a half, depending on the size, and you're good to go. Also have about 10 potatoes back here. Now these potatoes are super, super. They're actually small, so I'm probably going to use these as snacks, maybe. Um, and so yeah, so that's that. And then what else? That's basically it. So let me put this together and give you guys an idea of what I'm gonna do for the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned. Okay, this is basically it, you guys. I am finally done. Um, and so yeah, so basically I have 35 meals here all together. This is gonna run me about two and a half weeks, which is awesome. Um, because that's two and a half weeks I don't have to think about. Like literally, it may have taken me three and a half hours tonight. But that's going to save me so much time in the long run because, like I said, I don't have to think about food at all. All I'm going to do is, is grab it out the freezer and nuke it, and I'm good to go. Um, I'm probably going to leave a, probably a good few of these at work just in case I get stuck staying over. And I'm already prepared. I'm good to go. Um, some things I'm able to leave in my locker at work. Um, I keep oatmeal in there. I keep protein mix in there. So uh, I keep peanuts and nuts in there um, as well just so that way if something happens and i got to stay over, I have something to fall back on without having to feel like I gotta rush out and make a stupid decision. Um, now, some of these, I for the most part, I just mix them all up. Like you saw in the first clip, that's just mixed up. Now, the fish is um, paired with the zucchini. I have chicken and broccoli together, chicken and um, yam. I have chicken and rice. I have the beef and the rice. So I kind of just mixed it up so that it's not too boring. Like this is a chicken and broccoli. Um, Chicken, yam, and broccoli. The zucchini and fish is here. Um, what else? This one is the uh, spinach, um, chicken, and yam. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much how I did it. Um, I also made 
six salads. Now with the salads, you guys, I always say buy a head. Uh, buy a head. <laughs> the heads are so much, they're cheaper. They're more economic. I mean, seriously, like, why buy a bag of lettuce that's going to cost you like three bucks and it's going to literally last you two days? This is a head, and, it, and it's six salads, which will last me for six days. Um, and so that's what I did. I mean, you can get a head for like, what, a buck? A buck and a half? And, and I, I think I got it for a dollar and 29 cents a fee for less. All right, I put in um, about five or six of the little grape cherry tomatoes, some cucumbers. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna, okay, baby. Gonna add me, gonna add some, um, get, gonna add me some jalapenos to it as well. Um, I have dressing. I don't really do the whole calorie dressings too much. Um, but, but again, I need to just really just find one that works for me. Um, that's the salads. As far as I'll probably either either add, I have shrimp in the free, in the freezer. I may toss on that. I have tuna, or I may just use the leftover chicken that I still have for those salads just for my protein. I also need to add um, boiled eggs for my breakfast. My breakfast is going to be six hard boiled eggs, no yolks, um, and some oatmeal. All right, and then maybe a, 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 a piece of fruit. And so I'll also add an egg into each one of these as well. So I'll boil the eggs tomorrow. I didn't really feel like boiling them tonight. And so I'll boil them in the morning. I'll probably boil a good a good two dozen of eggs, probably most likely. I'm going to um, also do my cottage cheese tomorrow as well because I need to buy more because this is only half a container. And so, um, and then I'll put them in these little containers like you guys have seen me do before. All right, these are just little small ones I got from the Dollar Tree. They're real small. Hold on show you one of them. See, they're, they're little little tiny ones. Are they one cup ones? Yeah, one cup, eight ounce, eight, eight, ounce, eight full ounces. And so I'm going to use this, these for my cottage cheese. I'm not doing the peaches anymore, so I'm doing fresh fruit. And I have bananas, mangoes, apples, and what else do I have? That's basically it for, for this, for the next few days or so. Um, other snacks are going to be almonds, because I, I, I have a lot of almonds. I'm trying to really just go through the ones that I have. Um, again, the veggies, um, bell peppers, cucumbers with the hummus. I'm also going to do the potato, the baked potato as a snack as well. Um, what else can I add? That's basically it, you guys. That's basically it. I, um, I'm doing the gallon of water, which is good because I'm pretty much done. And I've been doing really, really good this last... This last week or two, I've been doing really, really good getting my water in. And yes, I have to run to the bathroom every 10, 15 minutes, but hey, better out than in, right? <laughs> um, it takes a lot of time. And yeah, this took me three and a half hours, like I said, but it's going to save me so much time in the long run. Saving me money, saving me time. I don't have to think about it. I think that most of us think too much about food, and that's why we have so many problems. We think too much. We overanalyze food. Choices and what's what should we eat and what shouldn't we eat. And I think for the most part, we all know what we should not be eating. And we know we need to gravitate more, to, more so towards veggies and and, uh, and fruits, you know, and, and proteins and and, um, and the right carbs and all that kind of stuff. And so and so yeah. So I'm gonna um pretty much guys. Um, I don't these. have a calorie count for any of this. I'm pretty much just doing the five to six, pretty much six small meals daily. Um and and that's basically it. I'm not really too concerned with the calories. I work out six days a week. Um I'm trying to increase my muscle lifting and training and kind of drop my cardio just a little bit because I do run six days a week and so I'm um, trying to drop that a little bit to kind of focus more on building um, and so yeah so anyways that's another subject for the day okay guys it's another video okay this is the final final just of it basically I had to go out and buy some more cottage cheese and I had these little containers like I showed you guys in the previous clips that I, I got from Dollar Tree it comes in a pack of five these are little one cup containers and what I do is I just scoop up um, half a cup which is a serving size I want to say half a cup is 90 calories of the cottage cheese and um, so yes I pretty much do it like this and I actually think it's cheaper if you buy the, the big one and you just condense it down into little containers it will actually get you further um, and it, like I said it's cheaper I want to say this has 12 grams of protein as well and so what I do is I scoop each one into the cups and then I'm gonna finish off the rest of what's left in here for myself actually better yet this one looks like it's a little under and that one 
this too. So yes, yeah, so anyways, so I do that and then I have strawberries and blueberries and I'm basically just going to put just a, not too much um, <clears throat> in all of these. See, I don't buy strawberries. Well, I actually buy strawberries pretty often, but literally they always go bad before I finish them. So I've kind of told myself to, um, to, to cut them up, wash them, cut them up first, because if I don't do that, then most likely they're going to go bad and I'm not going to want to eat them. Or, I'm gonna, or, or what I'll do sometimes before my fruit goes completely bad is I'll just toss it in the, um, my Nutribullet and, um, and blend it. And that's kind of what I did last week with the strawberries and... Um, and uh, yeah, strawberry. I did strawberries, banana, apple, a little bit of water, and um, and yeah. So that's basically that. And this was just one container of uh, of straw of strawberries. Okay. And then the blueberries. I'm just gonna put a few of the blueberries in it as well. And so these are gonna be basically one of my snacks. I'm not even counting them. I'm just putting, you know, a little small handful into each one like I said in my previous clip I used to use peaches because I absolutely love peaches I love pineapples too I mean I'm not pineapples but um, I love mangoes too so I have some mangoes back there I'm also going to cut up and probably um, and do those as well as a snack so that's pretty much it right there I'm going to put a little bit more in here all right, and then I also have my eggs that I boiled today, and so basically these are this is just gonna be my snacks. All right, this is my breakfast, rather my breakfast will be six eggs with the oatmeal, and then these are my snacks, and then I'll have mostly just probably fruit, and then the potatoes that I have back there as well. But the potatoes, what I, what I think I'm gonna do with the potatoes is I think I'm going to go ahead and just um, I'll skin half of it because I don't want all that skin. Mash them, add a little bit of garlic powder and a little bit of water. And they should probably put them in, um, I don't have any more containers like this, but, or do I? No, I don't. Maybe I'll put them, or maybe I'll just put each potato in a Ziploc bag and kind of just grab and go and do it like that. Because literally, if I nuke it in the microwave, I can just eat it like an apple and it actually would be fine. Um, so I may not skin them, but, um, but yeah, that'll so be my guys, snack this is just well. a reference for you guys. You don't have to go verbatim whatever I do. Just, it's just a... It's just a uh, to give you an idea of little things that you can do to make things easier for yourself. Um, these will definitely last me for the whole week. Um, one of those containers made eight of these, um, and so basically this is eight snacks. The container cost me three dollars. Basically, each one cost me forty-two cents. You know, and it's 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 got less crap than some of the Yo Play yogurts and Activias. I've done Activia as well in the past, but cottage cheese is just my to-go to. You know, 12 grams of protein, 90 calories, plus some fresh fruit. Um, you know, you can't beat that. Other than that, you guys, again, I hope the video is helpful. If it is, definitely let me know in the comment section or like the video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later, guys.